Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating topics in planetary science, the formation of the moon and the giant impact hypothesis. Stick around as we unravel the mystery of how our closest celestial neighbor came into existence. If you love learning about space and our universe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our community of space enthusiasts. Let's set the stage. Around 4.5 billion years ago, our solar system was a chaotic place. Newly formed planets were colliding and merging in a cosmic dance. Among these early planets was a Mars-sized body known as Thea. Thea formed in a similar region of the solar system as Earth, and their paths would eventually intersect. The gravitational interactions between planets and other celestial bodies during this period were incredibly complex and often led to such cataclysmic events. The moment of collision between Earth and Theia was a defining event in our planet's history. This wasn't a gentle impact. It was a violent, high-energy collision. Theia struck Earth at an angle, vaporizing vast amounts of material and creating a disk of debris around our planet. This debris was composed of molten rock and metals, ejected at such high velocities that it began orbiting Earth. The collision also tilted Earth's axis, giving our planet the seasons we experience today. Following the collision, the debris from both Earth and Theia began to cool and coalesce. This process, known as accretion, took thousands of years. As the debris orbited Earth, it gradually clumped together under the force of gravity, forming larger and larger bodies until a single, stable moon was created. This newly formed moon was initially much closer to Earth than it is today, and the gravitational interaction between the two bodies caused significant tidal forces, influencing Earth's geology and possibly even the development of life. Several lines of evidence support the giant impact hypothesis, making it the leading theory for the moon's formation. Firstly, the isotopic similarities between Earth and moon rocks are striking. Studies of lunar samples brought back by the Apollo missions show that the moon's composition is almost identical to Earth's mantle, suggesting a common origin. Secondly, computer simulations of planetary collisions show that such an impact could produce a moon with the mass and orbit we see today. These simulations also help explain the moon's relatively small iron core compared to Earth. The moon has some unique characteristics that further support the giant impact hypothesis. For example, the moon's surface is covered with a layer of rock called regolith, which is composed of materials that are found on Earth. Moreover, the moon has a relatively small core compared to Earth. This small core suggests that the moon couldn't have formed from a separate body, but rather from the outer layers of Earth and Theia, which lacked heavy elements like iron. Additionally, the moon's lack of volatile compounds such as water further supports the theory that it formed from the hot, molten debris ejected during the collision. Science is always evolving, and new data from lunar missions continue to refine our understanding of the Moon's formation. Recent missions, like NASA's Artemis program, aim to return humans to the Moon and gather more samples. These samples will provide new insights into the Moon's composition and history. Advanced computer simulations and experiments also help scientists test and refine the giant impact hypothesis, making our understanding of this cosmic event more precise. For example, researchers are using isotopic analysis to compare lunar and terrestrial rocks more accurately, further validating the hypothesis. The giant impact hypothesis not only explains the Moon's formation, but also has broader implications for our understanding of planetary formation in the solar system. It suggests that giant impacts were common during the early stages of planetary development, leading to the formation of moons and the shaping of planetary bodies. This theory also helps explain the presence of other moons in the solar system that might have formed through similar processes. Understanding these events gives us a glimpse into the dynamic and often violent history of our solar system. The giant impact hypothesis offers a compelling explanation for the Moon's formation, but the quest for knowledge never ends. With each new mission and discovery, we come closer to unraveling the mysteries of our solar system. If you enjoyed this exploration of the Moon's origins and want to learn more about the wonders of our universe, make sure to subscribe to our channel Hit the like button, share this video with fellow space enthusiasts, and stay tuned for more fascinating content.
Your support helps us bring you more amazing stories from the cosmos. Thanks for watching, and remember, the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be discovered. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video.